Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Cancer. Let's waste no time. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2021. Oof, a lot of, a lot of air energy going on here. A lot of communication or information coming through. Okay. All right, Cancer. So there is communication information that's going to be coming towards you for this month of July. For some of you guys, this could represent um, getting news or getting information, could be dealing with an air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. For others of you, you may be dealing with Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, or fire energy as well, as we do have here, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo type of energy. What they're telling you here is for this month, it's going to be very important to gather all, all your information, Cancer. Uh, don't react or don't, you know, put yourself in a predicament of not being able to take back what you said or what you expressed in the heat of the moment. So what they're telling you is, again, be patient with news or information that's going to be coming to you for this month of July where someone specifically the person that is bringing that information is trying to trigger you it's trying to get the best out of you or it's trying to have you say something that could later on bite you in the ass so again gather your information okay be methodical for the month of july when we're talking about expressing how we're feeling um only because you could seem a bit distant or detached a bit cold um, and the way you express yourself again, it, they're telling me like, just be careful the way you communicate yourself, because along the process, you can hurt someone that you genuinely care for. And there's kind of like, no, take, no, no takers back. You know what I mean? No taking back, not being able to retract. So again, gather all your information. Don't make decisions in the heat of the moment. It's going to be very crucial and important because as you can see here, we see a lot of people. So I see a lot of people coming towards you with information. Some information may be true. Other information may be blown out of proportion. And there is a need for you to be grounded. There's a need for you to really analyze the situation, analyze why is this person coming towards me? Why are they telling me this that they know is going to upset me? What is their intentions? What is their motives? Don't react based on how you're feeling. Because again, um, page of swords could indicate a person that is spiteful, someone that has had some type of anger and animos animosity or vendetta against you. Um, they're trying to prove something to others and they're bringing this information to get a rise out of you to, to see that you react in a way where you don't really think or analyze, um, creating, you know, creating a lot of people like really getting under the skin of people or having a very negative reaction. So again, you gotta be smarter than that. Cancer, very important. Now for others of you, this could be information that's coming to you from a distance. This could be not necessarily in relationship, although it can be, uh, but for some of you guys, this could be in connection to family. This could be rumors. This could be um, dealing with rumors and getting to the point of saying, you know, I'm sick and tired of it. The queen of swords is asking you to embrace uh, your intellect, disconnect from your emotions. Don't react, um, like I said, in the heat of the moment. It's very important to process this information, to cut through the bullshit, basically. Um, why is this person coming to me? Why are they giving me this information? What is their true intentions? Why are they expecting for me to have some type of reaction? Um, are they wanting me to uh, make myself look a certain way to specific individuals or to a specific group? Are they wanting uh, people to question my character, question my, you know, my person, question um, your integrity? So again, be smart and be wise about the situation. I feel that the, you guys are really going to be triggered. Um, so it's definitely something that is coming to you. And as you can see, the top row is nothing but clouds. So all of this is movement and communication, um, but also the the exaggeration of that so again 
don't react based on emotion, gather all your information. For some of you guys, it could be that if you don't react and you take a step back and try to analyze, a specific individual will come to you and give you clarity in regards to this. And they give you clarity in the sense of giving you the true reason for why this person is trying to come to you and get a reaction out of you. So be smart about that. For those of you guys that are in a relationship, this could be, you know, someone coming to you, telling you something about your partner um, when they're over here trying to prove to your partner that you're the toxic one, that you're the one that is not good for them um, and trying to prove that point. So again, be smart. Okay. Be methodical. Don't be in your heart or in your emotions. Be in your head. All right, my lovelies. I hope this gives you insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.